back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Eileen, and this is Eileen Ashley is Red Hot and Flashy. I'm really excited about today's video. I had been seeing all over my social media this product from She Glam, which is Shein. Um, it's called, let me get my glasses. <laughs> it is called the Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. And this is the box that it comes in. And here's what it looks like. So on the bottom, there is loose setting powder. And on top, this is an under eye powder. And it looks to be like a translucent color. Well, I don't know how translucent that is, but we're going to see. So everybody was saying how wonderful it is. How, uh, I don't know if they were saying it was a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury, but they were saying that it was as good. So not only are we gonna put that to the test, I decided to get a full face of She Glam. I think I got everything I needed, except the eyebrows, because they also do not make eyebrows products for redheads. Tisk, tisk, tisk. We are going to start out by uh, priming our face. And I already did my skincare. Let's see what this product is called. This is the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer Smoothing Rose. So this is what the packaging looks like. It is plastic. Um, I forgot to write down all the prices. So I'm going to put in the description box below how much I paid for everything. It also comes with a little spoon and it's sealed. It has absolutely no scent and this is what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to take a little bit on my spoon. It feels um, very similar to Tatcha's uh, Silk Canvas. Okay, so this is primer for the whole face. Let's, uh, I'm just gonna put it on with my fingers. Yeah, there's, there's no scent whatsoever. It feels really good. Let's see if it really does anything to the pores. Fine lines and wrinkles. <laughs> All right, let me take a look here. It did blur them. All right, so far, so good. Not bad at all. All right, the next thing I got was foundation. And you guys know how much I hate foundation. <laughs> so this is the She Glam Skinfinite Hydrating Foundation. And I got it in the shade Shell. Oh, look at the packaging. It comes in a little bag. That's cute. Oh, it's frosted glass. I think this was something like $9. And it's a pump. So let's give it a try. Okay, here's the shade. Oh, it's really light. All right, let's see. It is um, pretty full coverage there. Um, I guess it's considered medium. It's got a nice shine to it. Oh, I just realized I forgot to buy concealer. My bad. Actually, the shade isn't as light as I thought it was gonna be, but we can always fix that anyway. All right, let me take a close-up look at this. It actually is a nice finish. I'm actually really impressed with it. All right, let's move on. I have this She Glam Stereo Face 6 French Girl. So I bought this one because it was creams. Um, you know, they say creams are better for mature skin. So that's why I got this one. That's why I don't, I didn't buy a powdered bronzer or a powdered blush. Ooh. So this is what it looks like. There's no mirror, but that's all right. And, uh, the pans are rather large. See, this is my finger. So I think I'm going to start with this, um, cool nude. It's called, it's this yellow and I'm going to put it under my eyes. You know, they say that that's good to brighten your eyes. You have to get past that film on it, but there you go. I'm just gonna put it in the inner and outer corner of both my eyes. That is super bright. <laughs> Maybe that was supposed to be highlighter. <laughs> I think it was. All right, I'm gonna go in with uh, this called yellow cream. Uh, where is it? This one right here. It's kind of the nudish color and go over my eyes with that because I think it was way too bright. I think it was, I think that was the highlighter. 
Oh, goodness. I'm going in with the sponge. Because <laughs> now I think I have just too much product layered there. Before we go any further, I'm going to set my under eyes. And I'm going to use the She Glam Insta Ready. Um, what does it say? Face and under eye setting powder. So the top is the under eye setting powder. I'm just going to take my little puff there. And I'm going to per first put it on my hand. Get rid of all that excess. Oh. Well, that is pretty. It, it definitely... Wow. <laughs> it definitely bl blurred the lines. Wow. All right. Well, let's do the other eye. I'm just going to keep patting and make sure it's really blended in. Wow. Wow. I am shocked. Holy moly. Oh, I can't wait to try the uh, setting powder now. All right. So let's go in with, uh, let's contour. Let me see. I think because I am pale, I'm going to use this one today. It is light tan. And make sure you go, you have to get through that first layer on the uh, top of these. Nice. I like this color because it's more on the um, orangey reddish kind of color, which is my color skin instead of the brownish neutral. If that makes sense. And then I'm going to take that yellow that I put under my eyes and I'm going to definitely put that in the, where I want the brightness. I'm going to uh, use a sponge for this. So I find it's a little hard to blend. It's not blending as easy as I would like, but just keep blending. Hmm, not bad, not bad. It did take a little longer for me to blend, but I kind of like it. All right, next I got these um, liquid blushes. They are the She Glam Color Bloom Liquid Blush. I got Rose Ritual and Devoted. Okay, so this is the Rose Ritual. This is the packaging. It is plastic, and it's really cute though. I've seen it. It's got this little sponge on top. And the product is in there. So this is a pinkish color. And this one I believe is more peach, yeah. So I think I'm gonna go with the pink today. So we just tap some, oh, oh, I'm not sure how, oh, look at that. Oh, 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 I'm liking this. Not sure how pigmented it is, so let's just give that a tap. This blended in nicely. I think I put it up too high, but we'll fix that too. Oh, I really like this. We'll put this a little lower. Put it up a little too high there. Putting some across my nose. Now, if you feel you went too dark, because I think I went too high, I'm going to go back with my foundation brush and just tap out the um, where I want to um, fix that. But I'm liking this. Oh, I'm shocked. Now, I have some liquid highlighter, and this is the Spring, Spring It On. Uh, where's my glasses? All right, so this is in the shade Rose Code. And it comes in a tube like that. Here's what it looks like. So I think I'm just gonna put a little on my hand here. Oh, this is, this is highlighter? It almost looks like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, look now. Okay, let's see. Just gonna use my fingers for now. Oh my. I'm so shocked. I am shocked. Well, let's put it on this side now. Oh, let's put a little on my nose. I like to do above my eyebrows. Of course, I only did a little there. And on my lip. There is a little bit of glitter on this one. 
So I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully pick off some of that glitter there. Oh, on my nose, oh no. All right, I'm not a big fan of the glitter part, but this is really pretty. So when you're using it, if you use it, um, just keep in mind that it is kind of glittery. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the loose setting powder and you just twist that off there. Okay, so inside there is, it is sealed and then you twist it. I don't think you can use the cap because you can see there's, it'll all get caught in there. So how am I gonna do this? I'm, I'm gonna, oh, I can't pour it on my hand. Well now, I'm in a pickle. All right, I'm gonna put some on this. I'm just gonna tap it out. Oh, oh wow. So be careful. <laughs> and I'm gonna use my puff again. Now this is in the shade Bisque and it's not translucent. So I don't know how this is gonna change my look here, but I'm gonna start with my hand first and really Get that powder out because I did, um, I used a lot there. I'm just gonna, oh, it's all over my desk. So let's see. It's supposed to cover those pores. I don't know about, I should have gotten translucent. <laughs> wow. I don't know if you guys can see this. Like this really hides your pores. Let me see, I'm gonna put it in my 11s. Let's see what happens. Let's see, let's go up close. Of course they're still there, but holy crap. Oh my God, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna be powdered all up. Let's see. I'm gonna go where all the wrinkles are. Well, I have to tell you, I'm loving this powder. And it didn't cover up really the um, blush and everything that I put down. Even the highlighter is still there. Oh, and my face feels nice. I'm shocked, I'm really shocked. I'm shocked, I'm shocked. Because this stuff was not expensive at all. Okay, she glam. I'm I'm like shocked. I really am. All right. So, since they did not have any brow products, I did buy this stuff called Highbrow. It's shaping balm, kind of uh, a shaping wax, I mean, kind of like um Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze, you know, that that kind of product. I've never tried that, so um I hope I don't look stupid. So, here's what it looks like. So let me grab a spoolie here, and I guess you just go in with the spoolie here. Let me see, wait, okay. So we just do this and get it all over the spoolie, I'm assuming. All right, let's, let's see what happens, hold on. Don't laugh at me. Oh my goodness, it is definitely lifting my brows up. <laughs> It looks pretty funny. All right. So it lifted them. If you want to see up close, I'm going to do that with them though. I wanted to try the brow freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but then I saw, um, I saw so many reviews saying like after uh, maybe three months, I guess something happened to this uh, stuff and it was unusable. So I didn't want to waste all that money because it's not that cheap, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills is kind of high end there. So here's what it looks like if I don't brush it down. I don't know if you really could see the difference, but it definitely made them stand up at attention there. Oh my God, my, my, hairs, are, my hairs are long. Oh, all right, I'm gonna fill them in now. I don't know if that's the right way to do it, but we're doing it that way. And then I'm gonna go and do this again, brush them out again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's funny to me how long they actually are. Well, it's definitely gonna keep them in place. All right, I'm excited. I'm really excited that this, um, that 
this makeup is really good. I'm, I'm actually super impressed. I really am. Even, I even like the foundation. How about some eyeshadow? So the eyeshadow palette I got is called Centuries. And this is what it looks like. She Glam Centuries. And here is the color story. I just thought it was so pretty. But we're going to do something super simple because we're just trying things out. Um, also got some uh, primer for the eyes. And this is She Glam Ready Set Primer. And the reason I did that was because I also got these jelly glitters, I guess they're called. And I'm going to show you them. Um, and they showed you the jelly glitters on top of the primer. And it just, oh, it made a big difference, even in the eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it comes like that. So let's put a little on. I'm going to use my finger. I just want to see what it's like. All right. Trying to do something super simple here. I'm going to set my eyes because I don't know how this works. Um, I've never done it before. So I'm going to use, there's no shade names. They are on this thing and I'm not going to keep doing that. But I'm going to go in and set my eyes with let me see. I think I'm going to use that shade right there. It's closest to my natural skin tone. Um, there's some sh there's some uh, fallout in the pan. Let's see. Hopefully it's not on my face. So I'm just going to go in the crease, actually, because um, it is darker than my skin tone. Ah. Then I'm going to go on the rest of the lid. There was no fallout on my eye though. Such a pretty, I have to, like I am super shocked, su super shocked at how nice this is, how nice this all looks. I'm shocked. All right, let's go in. I'm trying to think if I want to do something different. So I kind of always do the same. Yeah, I'm going in with the purples. No, no, I'm going in with these here. I'm taking that grayish looking color. And I'm going to start in the corner, outside corner. Let's see. Um, it's not super pigmented, but that's okay. Because we like to build up color. I do anyway. And then I'm going to start bringing it into the crease. Yeah. Definitely not super pigmented. I think I paid like $8 for this palette. We're going to darken that up. Don't you worry. On to the next eye. Yeah, this definitely, um, this color anyway, takes a minute to build up. I think I'm going to go in with um, this dark purple right there. Let's see how that performs. I like that better. I'm going across the lid with it too. I don't know why. <laughs> don't worry, we're gonna blend that out. All right, I'm gonna take a bigger blending brush with no product on it, and I really wanna blend that out. Hmm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not impressed with the palette, but, hmm. For now, I'm just gonna go, Go in with, um, I think that shimmer. Remember I said I want it to be super simple. Um, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm not super impressed with the eyeshadows, but it is pretty. Oh, well, it is pretty. Here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not impressed with the eyeshadows. Oh, well, we'll have to continue playing with them. But what I want to do is, here are these, they're called um, Stay Wild She Glam um, Jelly Glitter. And I got one in this green called Peacock. It's just so beautiful. 
I'm obviously not going to use that one, but I will show it to you. Oh, this is what it comes like. And I opened it up already, but isn't that beautiful? So I got that one. Then I got uh, the shade Icy. I have not opened this one. Let's see, oh, you can't really see it. And it comes sealed like that. I think there's a problem with this one. Oh no, there isn't. I thought it hardened, but it didn't. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. Here's what they are. Definitely a lot of glitter. Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> so that's that one, that's called Icy. And then there's another one um, that's called the She Glam Glitter Wizard Invisible uh, Jelly. I opened this one. And I think this is the one I wanna use today. But here's what this one looks like. This one comes with a plastic over it, but that's what that one looks like. Oh my God, tell me that's not gorgeous. I think that's what I want to put on my eyes right now. I'm going to get a flat shader brush. Oh, I'm just going to take it right off the lid. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Can you guys see that? Holy crow, that's beautiful. I want to keep my eyes closed until it dries because it feels very wet. It's beautiful. It's so weird because like when you look this way, you can't see it. I guess that's why they call it invisible. Wow, this is stunning. Look at how beautiful this is. I bet you it would look gorgeous on a black base. I got more though. So I got this. It's called the Do It All 2-in-1 Eyeliner. It is a liquid eyeliner in the shade black. Here's what it looks like. It's dual ended. The so one end is your liquid eyeliner. That's really cool, right? One end is the eyeliner and the other end is to, um, it's like makeup remover in case you mess up. And apparently it came with a refill. Cool. So let's see. <laughs> For those who watch me, you know I suck at the eyeliner wings. But of course I'm going to try though. All right. Oh, did I show you that? That's the corrector part. This is, I've never seen an eyeliner like this before. So let's see uh, how it works. Now I was just watching a video for hooded eyes. The girl went like, Oh, this is like, oh, oh, I like this. It's it's hard, it's not moving. It's almost like a brow stamp. Uh, what do you call that? Angled liner brush. So anyway, she went and did the line um, down past the hood. And then she brought it up. like that. Then with her eye open, of course, she brought it back to where she started and filled it in. I don't think this is good for that though, because it's hard. Let me see. I did a little wing. Holy crap. So I'm gonna uh, thicken this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna clean it up with this. Let's see how it works. We're just gonna take a little bit of that off right there. Well, it worked, but now look at it. I wonder what's gonna happen as, as you know I use it. Well, we'll find out. I can't believe I just did a wing. I think for this technique, you need something that's a little more flexible than this, but it's working. It did work. All right, let's go back to that eyeshadow palette. And I think I'm going to just do, oh, let me say, I think I'm going to do the, the dark, um, that dark purple. 
and put that underneath my eyes. I mean, I'm not mad at the eyeshadow palette, but I don't know. I don't think the colors are, well, maybe they are. I don't know. I'm not super impressed the way I was impressed with the, the other products. Let's just say that. I think you would have to judge for yourself if you wanted to try um, the eyeshadows. But I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to go in with, um, I think I'm going to go in with that other purple for now. Because this is too pink-ish. I'm not liking this one either. I'm going to go in with the dark brown. That. Right there. And blend it out with that. Yeah, I like that better. All right. I've even got some mascara. And this is She Glam's Outrageous Curl WTP classic black okay this is what it looks like it's plastic and here is the wand it is flat and then it widens i'm interested to see how this looks how this works so let me grab a mirror here now you guys know i have oh sugar i forgot i bought something that i was dying to try I bought this lash curler and it's got little teeth in there. I thought it would grab my lashes because mine are so tiny uh, better. So let's find out. I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll do that eye. Let me put some mascara on the eye that I curled without any mascara on it. Hmm. I, it's hard for me to say it didn't do anything fabulous for my eyelashes. However, I have tiny eyelashes, so it may work better for others. So, um, I don't know that I would purchase this again. But, you know, I wouldn't leave out eyelashes. So, I got two different kinds. One is just a three-pack of eyelashes. And these are called the Girl Next Door Eyelashes in the, uh, in the style Blair. But this came with the eyelashes. I wanted to try this. This is clear eyeliner adhesive. So you know how they have the eyeliner adhesive, but it's in black. I've never seen it in clear. This one came in clear, but it also came with some eyelashes. This is uh, She Glam. It just says She Glam. So let's open this one. Oh, these, these lashes are pretty. I don't think I want to put these on. I want to save these. <laughs> I'm going to use the other ones. But, oh, here's what it looks like. I'm going to use these. And like I said, I'm going to put the prices of everything down in the description. I just don't, uh, I didn't think to do it. But here's what they look like. They're actually pretty long, it seems. But let's find out. All right, definitely. Oh, oh, these are so pretty. Definitely needs to be trimmed a little. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, I love them. Oh, I love them. All right, let's give them a good trim. All right, now we're gonna use the eyeliner. This is weird. It's like totally flat there. So I'm assuming this is a small, oh, it's the other direction. So here's what it looks like. Let's see. I wonder if it goes on clear. So we're just gonna put it on like eyeliner. I think it went on with a little purplish hue, but it's very hard to tell since I have this glitter on. <laughs> Get a good amount in both corners because that's where it usually lifts. And I guess I'm gonna wait a minute, not a minute, but a few seconds. Do the other eye while I'm waiting for it to dry down and get tacky. Let's hope I can get it on first try. See the lash band? It's it's really pretty thin. Let me say. There you go. That actually went on super easy. 
What I am going to do is I'm going to tightline my waterline. I did not buy something from Shein for that. So I'm just going to use the Urban Decay, Urban Decay 24-7 uh, waterline pencil. And I'm going to go in with a nude pencil. Um, well, is this nude? It's called Sunkissed by Morphe. It is their um, eye and lip colors. And I'm, I'm, the, I'm using that so I can help open up the eye. Just makes it look a little brighter. See the difference? Now you guys know I like to put some eyeliner in the corners there. Because it always looks like... Oops, sorry guys. It always looks like it's lifting. So, um... Let's try this. I'm not sure if it's gonna work because it is so stiff, but let's give it a try. It works. All right, now we need some mascara on those bottom lashes. Yeah, I'm not impressed with the mascara at all. All right, last, last thing, the lips. And I bought a few lip products, so I bought three different, um, these are Glam 101 Lipstick and Liner Duo. They're a little smaller than I had imagined, but you know, that's not their fault, I guess. And um, I bought a She Glam Starlight Velvet Lipstick. I didn't buy any liquid lipsticks and I didn't buy a lip gloss. I don't know why. Probably just getting expensive, if, you know, if you add everything up. So, definitely bought uh, similar colors. Okay, we have Warming Nutmeg. I think I bought all neutral colors. Or nudes, nudes. So this is what it looks like. You have the lip liner on one end and the lipstick on the other. I think I'm gonna use this one. So let me line my lips. Let me see the lipstick now. So that's the color. Very pretty color. The only thing I don't like about it is this could have been a little bit bigger. And I got super tiny lips. <laughs> I do like it though. I like the color a lot. Let me show you the other colors. I keep not looking at the camera. I'm so sorry because everything's on my desk here and I'm looking around and talking it, you know, before myself. So I'm so sorry if I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at you now. <laughs> All right, next color is uh, glasses, please. The next color is deep caramel. And like I said, they're very similar shades. And then the last color I have here is Soft Chai. Again, very similar shades. Almost the same, that looks like. The formula's creamy, um, not drying. I, I like it. It's not bad at all. Let's check out the lip uh, lipstick that I bought. This is in shade uh, Beach Babe. I like the packaging on this. It's really cute, right? It's plastic though. So this is the shade. And I think I'm gonna take this off and put this on. I'm not gonna take it off all the way. I'm just gonna take away most of the lip color. Only because I like this one better. I'm really loving this shade. Um, unfortunately, this it feels a little drying. All right, guys. That is the full face of She Glam Makeup. What do you guys think? I'm going to give you my opinions, of course. So, to start off with, um, the primer I really liked. Definitely would purchase it again. And you guys know I hate foundation. I really like I, I really like it. I hate foundation and I really like it. What? <laughs> Skinfinite. Who? Who would know? But let's see how it holds up throughout the day. Before I say I love it. 
Um, I'm going to give it to everybody. This stuff is amazing. Definitely, definitely, definitely amazing. I would definitely repurchase this. Maybe I'm going to go get it in translucent as well. Um, love these, those jellies. Let me see what else I love. I love the eyelashes. I love the, um, the eyeliner adhesive. I, I really like the eyeliner too. I mean, I was able to make a wing with it, which you guys, if you've been following me, know I can't do. Um, the lipstick, I love the color, but it's drying. So I'm not, I'm not super thrilled about that. And the, uh, the smaller lipstick, the, the lip liner duo, love this one. It was nice on the lips. Just wish it was a little bit wider. It kind of feels a little, um, should I say the word flimsy? It, it just, you know, it's too small and I've got tiny lips and it kind of feels like it's going to break a little bit. So, um, I would still use it though. I, I don't have a problem with it. I would just, for your knowledge, let me see the mascara I think is trash. So don't bother. So sorry, she glam love the blushes, love them. Um, I like the, the, uh, cream contour too. Um, the eye, oh, oh, even the, um, the brow gel, it's still holding up real well. It's sad that they don't have my shade, uh, any kind of brow products for redheads, but we won't get into that. Um, let me see. I'm over here trying to figure out, is there anything else? The lash curler, I, I still have to play with that. I don't know if it was any better than the regular lash curler. Definitely separates your eyelashes if you were to use mascara and then do it. But you got to be careful because you could pull your eyelashes out if you don't clean it after every time. Um, let's see. The eye primer. I don't know. I'm still on the fence on this one. I don't know that it, if this is supposed to make everything so much brighter, it didn't. Uh, I was not impressed with the eyeshadow. So I'm not saying it's horrible. I just wasn't impressed with it because I, I was really impressed with the face makeup. So here is my favorites. <laughs> Obviously, no. These two are definitely my favorites. And I'm going to give the primer, too, because I'm assuming this had a lot to do with it. Love the blushes. How about I just say what I don't like? Um, I'm not impressed with the eyeshadow, and I do not like the lip the lipstick because it's very drying on the lips. I guess if you throw some, um, what do you call that, lip gloss over it, you'll be good to go. And I think that the mascara is trash. Otherwise, uh, I love everything else. I am super shocked. I really am. Who knew, She Glam? Who knew? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. Did you guys know about all this? I mean, did you try it before and you didn't tell me? <laughs> no, seriously, leave me a comment below. Let me know. Have you tried any of these products? And if you have, what did you think about them? Are there other things that I should try that you think are really good? Um, or did you hate it? You think it's junk? I don't know. You let me know. I hope that you guys liked today's video. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button below. Come join our family. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Until next time, everybody. Bye.